Welcome to Learn the Art of Joomla's Developer Course for 1.6. My name's Andrew Eddy and I'll be your host and trainer. Joomla is an amazing content management system with a huge number of available extensions. My guess is you're here because you want in on some of that action, whether just for fun or even for profit. But you're a little bit daunted about where to start. Well, this is where I come in. I'm one of the developers that actually builds the Joomla core code and I want you to come on a journey with me into that code so that I can share with you my insights of what I've learned over many years. Before we dig in, I want to spend a little time preparing you for what to expect and what you'll need to know. To do this course, you'll need to have an understanding of the PHP language and HTML markup as well as a basic understanding for how a database works and have an idea of the purpose of a web server. You also need to have a good working knowledge of Joomla administration and how to install and manage extensions that other people have written. Let me reassure you, you don't need to be an expert at any of these things to start the course. It's my job to help you expand your knowledge. So with that out of the way, let's look at the roadmap for the Joomla developer course. This course is divided into several units, and Unit 1 is about easing you into the development groove. We're going to look at the tools you're going to need for this course, we're going to look at the coding styles, and we're going to look at some of the steps to take to set your Joomla site up for development. Unit 2 is still being prepared, but I'm really excited that you want to be an early bird participant. Over the next few months this unit is going to expand, but there's already quite a bit of material to cover. This unit is all about developing components in Joomla 1.6. Just for fun, we're going to do the traditional entry into programming, a Joomla version of Hello World. In the process, we'll start to pick up MVC. That's the model view controller architecture that Joomla uses. Then we'll dig into database design and how to get that information into the database using a backend component. Over the coming months, we're going to add more content to this unit, looking at how categories work in Joomla. We'll build a front-end component to complement the work we've done in the back-end, and we'll finish up with how to package your extension to share with the world. As we go along, I'll be adding masterclasses on topics that we touch on in the main sessions. These will give you an opportunity to dig deeper into the concepts that we cover, such as the API for building database queries, advanced customization, and much more. Along with the time we spend together in these online videos, I'll also be including all the source code we work on for you to download. But I've also got something really special. Throughout the code, I'll make heavy use of code snippets, and if you have Eclipse, you'll be able to download these and add them to your own projects. These snippets will really save you hours of typing. Finally, and where appropriate, I'll be giving you reference links back to project documentation on topics we cover. So are you ready to begin? Okay then, the next lesson is on development tools. See you there.